This week, 158 new stalls of DC fast chargers were installed throughout Canada and the United States, bringing the total to 50,395. That's a little bit of a decrease from last week. Uh, these do fluctuate a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that. Circle K and Kushchard posted seven new locations. Uh, they do so periodically, and they did provide that update. I think it's about once a month. Tesla opened one station. That's definitely a decrease from the pace that they were on. ChargePoint added 29, but they record every dispenser as a station. Some dispensers have two stalls, but every dispenser is recorded as one station. That's just a little bit of a quirk in the data from them. If you go open one, if you connect open five, I would also like to point out that there was an article from Electrek about the Mercedes-Benz charging hub network. Let me just bring that up real quick. This article right here by Michael or Michelle Lewis, um, talking about the Bucky's where Mercedes-Benz built in Texas, of which there's three. However, further down in the article is this map of coming soon locations. Um, so it looks like they're getting ready to open many more uh, Mercedes-Benz charging hubs at the Bucky's throughout the state of Texas. And I'm not quite sure where they found this. It is a image that's cited from Mercedes-Benz. I went on the Mercedes-Benz website and I couldn't find this image, but um, the source does appear to be solid because they're interviewing, um, it was an interview with someone at Mercedes-Benz. Um, so this appears to be solid information that the, um, the three gray ones that are currently open and then the blue ones that will be coming soon. So conceivably they're getting ready to do, start phase two. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Circle K. We opened seven. I did site visit videos of the two that opened in North Carolina, Hickory and Goldsboro. I could link those down below in the description if you want to see what these stations look like. Four additional ones in Quebec, uh, which is the home of the parent company Couchard, and uh, then one in Plymouth, Minnesota. Next one is Tesla. We open one Massachusetts, Canton, 20 stalls. Next one is ChargePoint. They're back on their pace above 25 that they had been on. Last week they were down to, I think, 16 only in one week, and now they're up uh, again to 29. Very similar pattern. I don't see anything really to call out here. It's um, municipalities, car dealerships, and a few other mixed bags of uh, private CPOs. I'll pause here for a second. Next one is Evigo. They opened one station in California, Rialto, six stalls. And it says it's phase two. I don't know if that's phase two of Evigo or if this is the marketplace phase two, regardless. Next one is EV Connect. Five new locations, all at car dealerships. Actually, I apologize. This one right here may not be a car dealership. Uh, it could be, but very similar. Uh, they're very popular with the car, car dealers opening up uh, what I call compliance chargers. The OEMs require dealers in order to sell the EVs to install DC fast chargers. And there must be some kind of partnership with EV Connect because it's very common um, option for dealers to choose. Thanks for watching.